All right, I want to make these here solar sails. This is the rough idea here. So this will be hinged at the bottom. It'll have a T that's really strong, so that's the mast. And then there'll be a, like, it's like a mast sleeve that slides over that. And this sleeve will keep the keep the sail from like twisting. So I'll either have a mast sleeve there, or I'll make the the sail a little bit thick in the middle. But let's presume I put the sleeve there. Then I need some reinforcement things there to hold the sail out. And then this thing attaches on here, and this is what steers the sail so it can aim the right direction. Now, how do I build it? It's not too complicated. Excuse my imperial noodle units mixed with my metric. Everything at the store is in noodle units. Doesn't matter. Uh, the way it works out best is if the, the front sail and the back sail are the same size. Originally, I wanted to make the front one smaller and the back one bigger, but just the way the solar panels fit in, it, it works out better if they're the same size. So that means the front one is actually going to overhang the pivot point a little bit. So when it's up, I'll lose a little bit of vision, but it should be fine because this is the one that's going to be up less often anyway, and I'll, I'll only put it up when you know I'm not navigating some difficult areas. All right, for each sail, I'm thinking I should have four cross spars, whatever you call them, reinforcement things. Because the sail itself is just going to be one layer of fiberglass, I think. So it's not going to be very rigid. So I, I need to make sure it doesn't flex a lot and wreck the solar panels. And to make that, well, that makes it only a meter between each one of these things. So to make that, I'm thinking I get a a piece of sheet metal, which I can get in town, and I have a board, like I'll just start with a board like this, and then cut a big smile into it, and then the top piece I'll attach on one side of the sheet metal, the bottom piece I'll attach on the other side, and then I can wax it real nice, and put fiberglass in this whole thing right up here, and that'll make one of the, one of the sail areas, and one of the uh, cross things. And then I'll take that piece, move it over, and just build the next piece, like, attached right into the previous one. That should be pretty easy to do. So I'll need to buy a piece of sheet metal, get some extra wax, a bit of fiberglass supplies. Alright, now this piece here that attaches to the, the sail part to, to tilt it, uh, I want to make sure it's not in the way so much that these can't tilt when they're down because I want them I want to be able to aim these toward the Sun a fair amount when they're down because that really makes a big difference um, so it'll have to fold up pretty snug I was kind of thinking about I could do this with the front one just have it hang down and still use that to tilt them but the back one there's all this stuff in the way I might be able to slip it between the box up here Let's see the box up here and the paddle wheel cover have it come right down in there when it's down. I'll have to think about that. Ah, that might work. No, oh, no, because these things are in the way. Those will totally be in the way. Yeah, I don't think I can use those. Alright, so pivoted here, I'll have that T that comes back and it's going to rest in here somehow, maybe lock in somehow. And it goes back to about here if I have three panels on there. I think that's a good distance because um, I sit up here so that will definitely be good shade then the panel the panel or the, the sail will be up a bit from that and curve down and I think uh, hmm, I guess when when they're down I don't know it'll be locked into here so I should be able to just reach my hand up and push the, the panel the direction it needs to go if I have something that easily locks it into place wherever it is, yeah, it would be good to, if I made something like that that I could reach from the chair. Then I don't, I don't even have to stop pedaling or move to adjust them. I'll probably have to get up and go to the front to do the front one because I don't want to make some complicated moving system for the panel. Yeah, so with the solar sails, if I'm uh, 
just aiming them at the sun, I'm presuming I'll, I'll set them somewhere, and they'll just be that way for hours, so I don't need to, like, make constant adjustments. It's fine if I have to get up and go do something and go back. I'd rather get up and do something, have it really secure, than have some thing that's, you know, easier. Alright, I think I can build the sail and the mast things before put the, putting the steering thing on. I can do that after the fact. Um, and once I've got this together and that together, I can put them into place and then, you know, maybe get a better idea of exactly how this should attach. Okay, the, the mast thing. I'm thinking I get a PVC pipe that's, I don't know, two inches diameter, five centimeters. Wrap it with fiberglass enough that it is pretty rigid and put a few reinforcements in there. Just make sure this is really strong. And then have a bigger PVC pipe that slides over it. Like if I could find a two and a half inch, that'd be great, but they don't have them, so I might have to do like a three inch or, I don't know, I'll figure out something that fits over this. And then this pipe will have to be fiberglass all the way around too, because it, it needs to be really rigid to keep the, the sails from twisting. All right, yeah, I'll build that and that. I don't think I need to buy anything for this. I can just use leftovers from everything else. All right, let's let's get one of these made. All right, I need the sheet metal here. I know where to get that. And then I need the pipe for the mast and the pipe to go through here. So the skinnier I can make this part, the less it'll interfere with the wind coming through, but I don't want to push it too much because I'd rather it lose a bit of efficiency than break. So yeah, I think I'll, I'll stick with a 2 inch pipe and a 3 inch pipe. That will be plenty strong. A 2 inch is like 5 centimeters, 3 inch is like 7.5, and, and then I'll have fiberglass wrapped around both of them. Yeah. All right, they come in 20 foot sections, and my sails are going to be 9 foot, nine, oh, just under 10 feet, so I need one, one 2 inch pipe, one 3 inch pipe, and then my piece of sheet metal and a bit of fiberglass supplies. Okay. And the pipes can be thin wall, because they, they're not where the strength is coming from. The strength, they're just going to basically be the form for the fiberglass. Except the, the bigger pipe, the 3 inch pipe, the, it'll have PVC on the inside. So that's what will wear against the, the mast on the inside as it as it moves. So I definitely want to have the PVC on the inside of that. But it, yeah, it doesn't have to be thick. I've also got a good lead on a motor for this boat. I don't want to say too much because you know it's not it's not being shipped yet. But the guy says, yeah, we can send you this. And that part of the conversation always gets a little weird because I'm always like, okay, yeah, great. Okay, send it. Uh, yes. Yeah, that would be great. You know, it's like, <laughs> send me the free thing now, please. Um, anyway, so I, I think I have a motor coming. I'll, I'll keep you updated. And, uh, I'll, yeah. Either way, I should have sales soon, presuming I don't screw anything up. So this should be the last trip to town in this boat that is only on pedal power. Even just with the sails, it'll... Usually there's a breeze coming back on the way back. Oh, it'd be so nice to take advantage of that. Sometimes I stand up and put my arms out, and it doesn't do that much. But it helps a little. But yeah, with some sails, oh, that'll be nice. I could almost take this guy with me on the trip. That would be much faster, but I have a few big items I need to pick up. I would kind of overload this. Oh, I also have a bunch of wood stacked in here in the shark slicer. It was freshly cut so it needs to dry out for a couple weeks. But when it's ready, I'll put them all in here and fill in the front floor. These are just a few temporary boards. Hmm, I might take my wheelbarrow to town to pick up some of those bigger items. Oh, the bigger items. Uh, this huge block of styrofoam. A couple rolls, uh, like 50-yard rolls 
of heavy duty cloth to make bags and stuff. Kind of like, kind of like these rolls of cloth here. I haven't even opened that one yet. But you know, this is how I'm always getting new t-shirts and stuff. I buy giant rolls of cloth. 